it's in 35 years I think I've covered most aspects of the trade. How did you get involved in World Skills? I started 14 years ago and it was just a very simple request, could I donate some material for a regional competition? The enthusiasm of World Skills caught on. It's, 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 it's an organisation that the, the enthusiasm is extraordinarily contagious. So they thought that with my experience in a joinery shop I could probably judge a regional competition. I wasn't quite that sure. But I did that, enjoyed the experience thoroughly, and then went on to judging national competitions, designing national projects, and uh, last year in November was my first international trip. I went to the international competition in Shizuoka in Japan and saw just some of the most spectacular work carried out by some of the world's best apprentices. A joiner is uh, involved in the timber industry. Um, it's, it's an apprentice trade. Rather than carpentry, which is predominantly on-site, joiner is done mainly in a factory. Most of our material arrives in the factory in the rough sawn state. Sometimes it's kiln dried, other times it's green or still has very high moisture content and uh, it, it's up to us to manage the material carefully so that it's dried and fit for purpose. So where does this timber come from? This is really very, very unique. This material hasn't been coming into Australia for very long at all. It's a um, Baltic pine which has gone through a, a heat treatment process involving no chemicals at all and it's, it's made the timber extraordinarily durable and stable. This will be the very first time um, that all of the competitors at the Sydney National Competition have actually seen this material or been made aware of it. It comes from Finland, uh, which is Europe's most forested country. 86% of the country is covered in forest. Finland produces 98 million cubic metres of timber per year, but they don't sell that much material. So the country is becoming more forested rather than deforested. We can see the difference between Baltic pine, as most of our joinery competitors would recognise it in its snowy white state, and the same timber through this heat treatment process and gives it extraordinary life and excellent working properties. I think the apprentices are going to enjoy using this in Sydney. For the first time ever anywhere in the world, the World Skills competition is going to be measured for its, um, its footprint on, on the earth, it, its carbon footprint, and with a very, very strong concentration on green practice, sustainability, uh, elimination of waste and things like that. The bricklayers will be using recycled water and using less of it. The cabinet makers are making all of their projects completely out of second hand or reclaimed material. The thermally modified wood that the joiners are using was one of the things that we've done to, to make the joinery category greener. It, we're using timber that's very, very environmentally soundly sourced. Its treatment requires no chemicals. It's easily disposed of just little things are going to ensure that the Sydney national competitions are the greenest competitions ever held anywhere in the world. And do you think that that will then challenge the rest of the world to step up and meet our challenge? Oh absolutely. Uh, the Canadians are hosting the international competition next year in Calgary and they're sending a delegation out to see just how well Australia does greening of world skills. A couple of months ago now, it was actually in November last year, I competed in the regional competition for world skills. We had to make a desktop lectern out of uh, cedar and um, I came second in that competition. People just really need to get a background knowledge on the timbers that they're using and bits and pieces like that um, with power consumption and more they can do with their waste and things like that. In the past all of our wood waste, sawdust and shavings and things like that was a little bit difficult to get to dispose of. Um, and when we're thinking green, every time you ordered a truck to take away a load of sawdust, you're actually using fuel to get rid of waste. So what we've done, we've uh, purchased a briquette machine, and now all of our wood waste is turned into briquettes. The, um, the briquettes are compacted 10 to 1, so now instead of 10 truckloads of quite useless sawdust, we're now producing one truckload of, of briquettes, which are sought after as fuel. Okay, so people could then buy that and use it in their fire at home? Or... Oh, absolutely, yes. It's, uh, we have people queuing up to, uh, to come and pick up a load of briquettes. And again, this is having an, an impact on the environment because they're not buying timber or buying firewood or cutting down trees. So right from the very word go to the end of the process for us, 
uh, we have a concentration on being environmentally good citizens. You know, I feel good about it because, um, yeah, I'm doing something for the future as well. Like, I might be alright now, but down the track there's going to be a few problems arising and, you know, we don't want to cause more problems if we don't have to. There's something we can do about it, so why, why don't we do it? I, I think one of the things that I'm most pleased about my involvement in World Skills is just watching young people who've started at, at regional competition level moved all their way perhaps to international pathways with Big Brother scholarships or international competition. It's just the growth of the whole person. It's not just added skills. It's not just becoming more efficient in their chosen career. It's, it's that all round um, fantastic young Australian that World Skills produces. If you get an opportunity to be involved in World Skills, do it. It's, it's good for your heart and soul.